I'm here with Josh Golden today. Uh, he's going to be going over the WEX app and covering how to log in to the app and showing driver managers how to do so so they can better assist uh, their drivers on that process. You're just gonna type in WEX car control as you see right there, you just see what the logo is gonna look like. I obviously already have it downloaded, so I'm just gonna click open here. So at this screen right here, you're gonna instruct the driver to enter their entire card number as both rows of their card with no spaces. And if it's their first time logging on, it's gonna be the last four of their card. All right, so as you can see, I've entered everything in, no spaces. I'm just gonna go to the pin or passcode and I'm gonna enter the last four digits of that card number. So it's gonna be 7594. This is for first time login. It's gonna bring you up to the screen where it asks you to change their pin. Now, obviously have them remember this pin because it's what they'll be using moving forward. So I'm just gonna make it easy, one, two, three, four. Once that's entered, just hit next. It pulls you up to the main screen. So on this screen, it'll show their most recent transactions. The thing that I want to kind of highlight here is the find fuel section. Um, this is where I, uh, when I send out fleet messages to you guys about, you know, if fuel price is going to go up or go down, and I encourage them to use OS car control out the price locator. This is that right here. So there's two options they can use. It's either search nearby or search along a route. I obviously suggest doing the search along a route because it'll show you everything in that route and the cheapest fuel prices. But um, we're just going to do search nearby for now. So as you can see, it pulls up what our discount is in a 25 mile radius of where that little blue dot is right there. That's where I'm where I'm at currently. When they first log onto this app have them go to the filter section and make sure they open it up to that 25 mile under that search range because it's default set to five miles and you want to have it sorted by price and um, you don't want it to show all stations just only ones with prices and those are going to be our, our discount prices so as you can see it shows the prices here of, of, of what our current price is and that that price is not the retail it's the uh it's our actual savings which as you can see down here on the bottom if i click on it it kind of gives you like a quick overview one thing you want to always tell your drivers is don't pay attention to the retail pay attention to what or the savings pay attention to the your price number because the retail the savings is all going to be different based on what location they're at so you want to pay attention to the your price another cool thing that we can have them do if i just like zoom on the map so Obviously, it is, it's a 25 mile radius from where I want to, or from where I'm currently located. But I know that there's a there's a fueling station in Moody, right? But it's not showing up because it's not within 25 miles, right? So if I put, if I press the button on the top there, search this area, it'll pull everything up so I can kind of see. So like, say you have a guy going to Phoenix, Arizona, he wants to see what fuel prices are. He can just go to Phoenix, Arizona, hit search, and it'll show anything 25 miles an hour from where he's at, or 25 miles from where he's at. That's pretty much it, guys. As always, you guys can always reach out to me if you have any questions. Call me, extensions 1305.